Hello everybody, it's Sai, Coastal Gamer here, bringing another awesome video. And now I am here with my uh, friend, say hello. Hello! Uh, so he went again, I'm doing another deck profile. Um, it's gonna be a Mystic, it's called Mystic Mind Chaos Control is what my friends decided to call it. So uh, yeah, it's pretty funny, pretty hilarious, and it makes Cyber Dragons look like a joke. And infuriating to play against. Very. He still thinks Crusadias are meaner though. Yes, I do. It's a glass cannon, it's easy to stop. <laughs> Just don't get. let me get it as a thought. So, to start off this deck profile, we're gonna play three copies of DD, DD Guide. What he does, basically you normal summon him, give it to your opponent. Kane? 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 Yes. You have some personal experiences with this, what's your ideas on this? Well, it's not the worst thing in the world, I'm gonna be honest. No, but this next card is going to be, isn't it? Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Go over its second effect. Oh, second effect, by the way. And by the way, these are not affected by Mystic Mind. You can still summon it, switch it to, the, switch it to your opponent's side. Um, its second effect is, once per turn, whoever controls this card, the opponent can declare each at the end of each end phase, they can basically banish a card from their opponent's graveyard. Yeah. So say Kane is in control of this, I can declare and I can banish one card from his graveyard of my choosing. Yeah, can, except that he keeps on forgetting. I might keep on forgetting, but does it really affect it? It does not. Not really. Yeah. Well, I say I love All right, right, so the next thing we're gonna play, I know Kane's been hating it. I decided to go ahead and main deck this. It's three copies of Lava Golem, the OG Kaiju. Yep. So uh, basically, if you guys don't know what Lava Golem does, you tribute two monsters, special summon it, to your to uh, your opponent's side of the field, and each during each of their standby phases, which is not affected by Mystic Mind, correct? Correct, because it is a continuous effect. Each of their standby phases, you inflict 1,000 damage to them. Kane, exactly how bad was this to go against? Also, not that bad. Until not I compared got... to the not compared to the main strategy. <laughs> All right, ready to move on into the spells. And this is from someone who. Well, the main reason why I don't think it's that bad is because I play Prime Material Dragon, which converts the damage into life points. Yes, okay, so next we're going on to the spells. Three left arm offerings, basically you banish your entire hand, get one spell card from your deck. Pretty good in this instance. Yep. Especially since most of this is spell cards. Next thing we're going to play is one copy of Final Countdown, just for the, just for the giggles of it. Yep. Also, if you end up locking your opponent into not being able to do it, all you have to do is just draw a pass, draw a pass, draw a pass. Yep. Uh, next thing we're going to do, some a bit of draw power, is Pot of Duality. Um, pretty good. Uh, excavate the top three, and you pick one, add it to your hand, shuffle the rest back into your deck. Mm. And then you also cannot special summon any monsters, so, for the rest of the turn, but, you know. Which kind of cuts into Lava Golem a little bit. Eh, unless you go... Unless you end up using that first. No, you because then you then you wouldn't be able to activate this card. Oh, that's right. My bad. <laughs> uh, I would also uh, use card of demise if possible. I wasn't able to pick it up, yeah. so this is kind of my build on it. A little bit more budget. Uh, same. I would put. Pl I'd play two to three copies of Pot of Extravagance. Sadly, he only has the one. Still good in this instance. Basically, you banish three or six cards, and for every three cards from your extra deck that you banish, you draw one card, and it's only three or six. Yep. And then you cannot draw any more cards. So it kind of limits out Card of Demise, but Pot of Duality is still fair to use. Yep. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to move on to the Continuous Traps. So, two copies of Cauldron of the Old Man. If you guys have seen the intro and not skipped it, you would have seen how OP this card is. Uh, 170 or 80,000 life points? Yeah. Um, it was insane. <laughs> he had Prime Material Dragon, so I couldn't really inflict, so all I could do is just keep increasing my life points. So we made the agreement to where if I got over 100,000, um, we would... I end up technically winning the game because he would not be able to do enough damage to destroy me. Yep. Um, next, I'm going to play two copies of Wave Motion Cannon. That quick damage if you need it on time. Uh, pretty good. Uh, basically, activate it. And once you activate it, you, you either sil Solemn Judgment then or you don't Solemn Judgment at all. You want to know why? Because 
once it's activated, that's your time to solemn judgment. When it's sent to the graveyard, you cannot solemn judgment that. Interesting fact. I uh, yeah. found that out by a ruling. Okay, mm -hmm. so next continuous trap card, or uh, spell card that we're going to play. Uh, <laughs> sorry guys, it's like almost 1 o'clock in the morning at a Waffle House right now. Yeah. Next thing we're going to play is three copies of Prohibition. Kane, tell us your opinion on this one. Absolute bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, basically you declare one card name, say I declare Twin Twisters, you can't use Twin Twisters for the rest of the duel as long as this is up on the field. It's not the worst in the deck, but it's still pretty bad. Yeah. Now this is one that Kane personally hates and that he would always infinity destroy, is uh, two copies of Goddess Scold's Oracle. Kane, you want to tell him what you do? For this one, I negate and destroy it whenever possible. Cause so if you manage to get this out with with Mystic Mind on board, you basically of? lost the game. Yeah. So basically, he plays a Denko Seca, right? Yeah, I play Denko Seca. I just kept putting it third. And um, basically, you excavate the top three of their deck. They don't get to see, but you do. You put them back in any order you want, and you can only summon fairy monsters after that. Yep. You can only activate it once per turn, which is kind of bad, but not really that much. Yep. Uh, next thing we're going to play is three copies of Field Barrier. Protects it. Mystic Mind from blowing up itself. Pretty good. Demise the land. Your opponent special summons a monster. Say hello to Mystic Mind. Three copies of Mystic Mind. Because that's what this deck revolves around. Yes. Um, <clears throat> Mystic Mind, basically, if your opponent controls more monsters than you do, uh, they can't attack and they can't activate monster effects. And a keyword, activate monster effects. Yeah. There are, like, passive effects, like... If, pa if, if it has a passive effect, it can still, it can still be used. Alright, next we're going to be moving on to the trap cards, and I'm actually going to clean this up here real quick. Give me a little yeah. All right. So for the trap cards, one metaverse. We all know why. Doesn't matter how hard we try. Yeah. Kane hates it. And <laughs> I love it. I don't hate metaverse. I just hate the. Three. I just hate this field spell that he plays with it. Three copies of Curse Sealed with the Forbidden Spell. Basically, what that does is you discard a spell. And it's a counter trap, which is good. And all you guys are now going to probably start using it. And you basically, it's like a prohibition counter trap. Only, you know, Only it's permanent. Yeah. Even if it leaves the field, it, which it will. Upon Next activation. thing we're going to do That's is play one copy of Dark Bride. Basically, I think we all know what this does. You activate a spell or trap, or your opponent does, negate it, and they draw one card. Yep. Not too much worrisome unless they draw Twin Twister. Uh, next thing we're going to play, three copies of Solemn Judgment. And check out those two ghost rares. <laughs> That's like $51 right there. But uh, totally worth it. So basically, Solemn Judgment, normal summon, activate a spell or trap card. Wait, no, not just normal summon, just summon in general. Or, oh yeah, it's just summon in general. So you summon in general, or activate a spell or trap, negate it, and like, pay half your life points and destroy the card. Mm -hmm. Pretty nasty card, wouldn't you say? Yep. Alright, next we're going to be moving on to the extra deck. I know the extra deck is probably what you guys are all waiting for. It's the best one out of them all. So funny, thing, funny thing, he only uses this extra deck as a pot of extravagance fodder. Exactly. So we're going to be playing Guard Dragon LP... Guard Dragon Pisty, Link Krebo, because I actually found that there's a few outs to this. Oh, no one? No uh, one. So, Link Krebo, I found out that Lost World, if you don't prohibition it, it will give you a uh, dinosaur token that's level one. So, and it'll just keep doing that. So, if you link it off for Link Krebo, when they go to attack, it just tribute. Not too bad. It's actually one of those cards that I want in the extra deck to still remain. Mm -hmm. um, next thing we're going to play, Spatha. No, nothing useful in here. Crusadia Equimax. Mech Knight Crusadia Abramax. Saruja Skulldred. Three copies. And now we're going to go on to Appalooza. Game. I only use this for Pot of Extravagance. And it is shameful. And then 
I also use this for part of extravagance. And funny thing, this entire extra deck was basically just right from his Crusadia deck. Oh yeah, no. Literally right before we, I made this deck. Alright, so what we're going to do is the side deck now. Yep. Three copies of the Mad Flame Kaiju. Mm hmm. Do you need any mayonnaise or Tommy? One Saru or one Scold Oracle. One Wave Motion. Well, then I will only give you a spoon. Uh, or do you eat it before? Two Dark Ruler, no more. Yep. Uh, basically, you negate all the effects of um, face up monsters your opponent controls, and they can basically uh, not activate. Um, is it monster effects? In response? Neither, player, neither player can activate monster effects in response to this effect. In response to this card's activation. So basically, you negate. The only threat. downside is your opponent takes no damage. But uh, that's easily worked around. Exactly. And then the last card we're going to be playing in our side deck is three copies of Unending Nightmare. You want to explain what this does? If you know what it does. What you do is, considering it's a, it's a continuous trap, so you can activate each turn. You pay a stack, then tar you pay a stack or a thousand life points, then target one space of spell or trap on the field and destroy it. And that's only uh, once per chain. Yeah. Not once per turn, once per chain. Yeah. So uh, pretty nasty of a deck. Any final comments you'd have to say on this? I'd say it's a pretty solid side deck. Pretty solid side deck or deck in general? Well, the deck in general is already solid as can be. For a Mystic Mind. For a deck centered around Mystic Mind. Oh, uh, by the way, you can uh, shout out to Jose, the thumbnail editor for this video. And shout out to Kane, because you'll be seeing a live duel Saturday. Uh, we'll be doing it Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. We're we doing. Is it Cyber Dragons versus Mystic Mind? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy, this is going to be fun. Anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I, and I will see you guys in the next video. Yep. Bye-bye.